everyone, I'm Bethany the Booktastic Mom and today I have the best subscription boxes for homeschoolers. I'm super excited for you to be here today. I've been working on this project for a few months now, but before we get into these boxes, I want to do a little introduction for those of you that might be new here. Again, my name is Bethany. I am a homeschool mom of three girls. I've been homeschooling for nine years now. It's been an amazing journey, and I love to share all things homeschool, children's books, subscription boxes, crafts, baking, mom life, you name it. And if those things interest you, I hope you decide to stick around, subscribe, and hit that bell. So everybody, here we have all of these boxes and all of these boxes that are all amazing subscription boxes for kids and homeschoolers. Now all these boxes are subscription boxes that I have personally loved over the years or that my children have loved and others are ones that other homeschool moms that I asked have loved over the years. I went on social media or Facebook to be exact. I'm in a bunch of different homeschool Facebook groups and, and two of the most popular I wrote on there, what are your favorite subscription boxes that you use in your homeschool classroom and these are the ones that were recommended the most. Now the way that this video is going to work is I'm going to go through each box individually. I'm going to do the sub box stats for each box so you know all the information you need to know, coupon codes, links, ages, what's in the boxes, pretty much everything that I could find about the boxes. And then we're going to do an overhead view so you can get an in-depth look at every single box that I'm opening today. And then after that, I'm going to do a short clip or some pictures showing my children and I doing some of the crafts or activities or whatever things are in the box. Because it's so easy to look at something and to see it what it is, but I, it, I think it gives it an extra level when you actually see the things being completed. And I'm also going to do timestamps for every single box because you might come across a box that maybe you're not interested in or your children are not that age. So you could just skip on to the next box or whatever boxes you're interested in. I think that's all I have to say here. Are you guys ready to see the best subscription boxes for homeschoolers? Let's go. First up, we have a subscription box from Kids Art Box. There are three box options. The Mommy and Me box is for three to six year olds. This is the one shown in the video. A Daddy and Me art box that is for kids ages four through seven. And a My Artist box for kids ages six through 12. And that will be shown in an upcoming video. Make art without the headache of looking for the right activities and supplies. Kits come with everything you need to easily follow step-by-step -step instructions. The box comes with three art activities, one science project, and one visual recipe. This box is themed rainforest, and past themes have been earth, space, garden, weather, and dinosaurs. Now here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Kids Art Box. Okay, let's open this one up and see what's inside. So we have a little packet here on top that says thank you for your order. And here are some examples of other boxes they've had in the past. And here's a QR code for their Facebook group. And this one is the Rainforest box. And here's an example of the crafts that we're gonna see inside. And then here's all the cards with the examples of the crafts, which we'll save to the end. And then we have this recipe to make snake breadsticks. How cute is this recipe with all the pictures on it? And there is the ingredient list. And first in this clear bag, we have some 
paints, glues, paintbrush, some googly eyes, and it says on the card here that these items for most of the craft projects. And then these are all numbered. So let's find number one here. So in number one, it looks like we have some textured foil, three little sticks, some paper leaves, a textured piece of thick cardstock, and a white piece of paper. And let's see what craft this goes to. So this craft is hanging sloth in the trees. How adorable is this? So it gives all the things that they provide, what extra things you need in all the directions and the picture. And next, let's open up number two. So in this pack, we have some green and yellow tissue paper all cut up for us. We have some googly eyes, some colored circles already cut out of cardstock, a red piece of paper, some red circle stickers, and two pieces of paper that are matte on one side and glossy on the other. I absolutely love that this box has everything all cut and ready. That's the one part that I hate about crafts is all the prep work. Now let's see what craft this one goes to. So this craft is to do a poison dart frog on bleeding paper. How cool is that? That looks like so much fun. Look at the little frogs here on the page. Very excited to do this one. Now let's see what's in bag number three. So in this bag, we have some parrot cutouts on cardstock. Parrots are my middle daughter's favorite animal. Two little pieces of green cardstock cut, some twine, some more tissue paper all cut, and two toilet paper type rolls that are actually much sturdier than a normal toilet paper roll and a brown crayon. They actually include the crayons too, which is awesome because sometimes you can't find those colors that you're looking for, especially black. The black crayons always seem to magically disappear. Okay, let's see what craft this one makes. Oh, here we go. We're gonna make a perched parrot craft my middle daughter is going to be so excited about this. That is absolutely adorable. And I love here how they also give some fun facts about the animal. Okay, let's open up number four. This is so great how it's so organized and you're not digging through the box trying to find everything you need. So we have some crinkled paper here some cute animal foam stickers, some green yarn, some tissue paper, all cut and ready, a tree that is also all cut and ready, and this is a box here, a sheet of tissue paper, oh, and a printout of the layers of the rainforest. How cool is this? We actually learned this a few years ago in our homeschool, but this would be a great review. Okay, here we go. So this is a rainforest layer diorama. I love dioramas, so much fun. And then on the other side, gives you the step-by-step -step instructions. And that was the last package in there, but here is the snake breadsticks from the recipe that we got in the beginning of the video. And then here's a review of all of the crafts again. And let's go and try one of these crafts with my girls. Next up, we have Sensory TheraPlay. This box is for ages five through nine, 
but can vary depending on learning levels and abilities. They also have a teen slash adult one-time box. These boxes are full of sensory toys curated by a pediatric occupational therapist. They are curated for children with autism or sensory needs, but suitable for all children of all abilities. In this box, you will find five to seven sensory toys to help develop important sensory motor skills and stimulate the senses. Example of items in the box include putty, textured tactile toys, fidgets, stress balls, craft activities, and more. Now here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Sensory TheraPlay. Okay, let's open up this box and see what's inside. We have a card on the top that says, Somewhere inside all of us is the power to change the world by Ronald Dahl. And this is the author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I believe. We read that a few years ago. Okay, let's open here and see what our first thing inside is. It looks pretty big. And let's open this up. And it looks like we have this shirt with these buttons on the front. It's very silky material. Let me see if there's a booklet that tells me what this is. Well, actually, I'm going to wait to the end because it has spoilers, and I will see at the end. Okay, up next, it looks like we have this little squishy thing with the cute little mice and cheese on here. Let me get this out of the bag. So it looks like the little mice are separate, so you could put them in the holes here, which is pretty cool. And then this is all squishy and slimy feeling. This is great. So it gives your hand something busy to do, hand-eye coordination and motor skills. I have two kids right now putting their hands out wanting to play with this, so I'm gonna hand this over. Okay, up next we have, ooh, we actually had something like this before. This is called the Atomic Nido Squeeze. We did not have this one. Let me get this open. Oh, look at that. It changes colors when you squeeze it. So we have some purple on the inside. How cool is this? This is a perfect little fidget toy here. I can imagine this can help with stress. It's kind of like a stress ball. Great for homeschoolers when they're getting aggravated with their math. So I'm gonna hand this off to the other child over here that's reaching for it. Okay, up next, oh, this is super soft here. Called Fuzzy Watchitude. It is like a snap bracelet. Back in the day when I was a kid, you snap it on. How cool is this? You could wear it on your wrist and touch the soft texture. So this is a sensory bracelet, and then it can keep your hands busy by bending and straightening, and this could be very calming. And let me give this to the third child who has now come over to ask for one of the fidget toys. Okay, let's see what the next thing here is. Very cool, Meteor Monster. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, let's open up this rock. Oh, we have something in here. Mad Hatter Mystery Color. Looks like some kind of um, shaping dough. And our monster sleeping inside. And I'm guessing this is showing all the different monsters you can get. So this is a mystery bag as well. And then let's see what monster we have inside. And we got a blue monster, or a teal. Very cute. Okay, put him inside. This was a 
cover the monster like this. I guess I'm supposed to smash it and lift. Oh, there we go. Meteor monster. So then you can go inside and find your little guy inside. How fun is that? A perfect sensory toy. Here, you could take this. <laughs> okay, that's all that's in the box. Let me turn this around and let's see what this is here. Ah, there we go. So it's kind of like a body bag where you can stretch your body around. That is very cool. Let's read about this. So you, it's a body sock for deep pressure input and provides soothing compression and resistance around the whole body. And it's very calming for children who need and crave sensory input. That is very cool. So that is all the things in the box. And my kids are to the left of me having so much fun with all their new little fidget toys. Next up, we have Learning Unbound. This is for grades pre-K through third grade. This box is a tailored curriculum that focuses on state standards, encourages family style learning, and saves you time and money. The box includes a book, supplies, and activity pages for a complete unit study that requires very little or no prep time. In the box, you can find sensory bin supplies, arts and crafts supplies, recipes, supplemental book lists, and PDFs. This box theme is weather, and upcoming boxes for this year include pirates, bugs and butterflies, knights and dragons, oceans, and settlers. Now here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Learning Unbound. Okay, let's open this one up. And here is the theme for this box. We have wild and windy weather. So much fun. Let's get open this tissue paper. Okay, on top it looks like we have a straw. We have some craft sticks. It looks like we have some kind of plastic top here. We'll see what that is all about in a minute. We have another straw, some shaving cream, some rainbow washi tape. How fun is that? A dropper. And then we have the booklet here, which I'm going to save for the end just in case there are any spoilers inside. It looks like we have a second dropper here. We have a bunch of papers in this bag. Let me get this open. So here we go. It looks like we have a coloring page on top here. Bucket of weather facts. Bucket of weather facts raindrops. A weather chart. Some different words and pictures like rainbow and thunder. We have some more here. Precipitation chart. A water cycle. Puddle jumping math ideas, and it has all different levels here from preschool to third grade. So if you have multiple children, you know what to do for their age range. Rain cloud in a jar, an umbrella template, a rain boot template, rainbow template. Fill in the word with the word bank. Some more activity sheets. My kids love the height template here. Some more. Papers has all kinds of silly faces. Some more worksheets. Bunch more, so many worksheets. It's like we have a whole entire curriculum here in a box to learn all about weather. We actually learned a little bit about weather last year in science, and this box would have been absolutely perfect for that. But now we could use it and brush up on what we remember 
Looks like we have a book here. A hundred questions about extreme weather. How cool we have the how, what, when, where, and who. Let me show you a few pages inside here. Water safety, weather forecasts, all about driving in the snow. So there's that. Let me get the other booklet. So here is the booklet. So here we go. An introduction, how to use the kit, all kinds of recommended books. I actually have all of these books right here. Love us born books. And here's some cute other ones that I need to look into getting. All the learning objectives and different things that you'll learn when you use this box. How to keep it organized. Oh, a sensory bin idea. My girls love sensory bins. This one looks like so much fun. Okay, and here's all the different assignments. So this is lesson one here. We have a bucket of weather facts. Graph the weather here. How to dye rice. So I guess you're doing that for the sensory bin. So you can see how the, all those printables I showed you earlier will look like when they're completed. I love when they give you examples and how to do the things. It's like getting a cookbook with no pictures. It's always so confusing. There's so many fun activities inside. Oh, here is a fun rainbow craft and a snack. Oh, here we go. Those are those um, smiley face pictures for wild and windy hair art. How fun is that? Okay, there are eight lessons in each one. So you could do this a few times a week. You could do a lesson every day. And then the things just keep on going here. At the end, we have more. We have rainbow sugar cookies and a sensory bottle. I absolutely love this box. Now let's go and do one of the activities in the booklet. Next up, we have my zoo box. This is recommended for kids ages four through eight plus. Learning is fun with each month a new animal swims, floats, or stomps through your door. Your child will learn all about the animal of the month through activities, books, and play. In the box, you will find an animal plush, book sticker, postcard, art slash science project, recipe, animal anatomy poster, and a special surprise. This box theme is butterflies and past boxes have included whales, walruses, bats, narwhals, deer, and kangaroos. And all of these animal box reviews can be found on my channel. Now here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for my zoo box. Now my zoo box is one of my kids' favorite boxes. We've been getting this one for maybe four or five months now. They look forward to it every single month. If you want to see more of these unboxings of my zoo box, follow this link right here and this will show you all the different boxes we've got. So let's open this month's up and see what is inside. Oh, how adorable. So this month's theme is butterflies. So on top here, we have the two butterfly plushes because I do get the add-on for the extra sibling. So we get the two plushes. Look at how cute this is on both sides. All the plushes are always from Wild Republic. It's a very high quality plush and I love how this closes up and opens. And the special surprise in this month's box is Grow a Butterfly. So this is one of those um, things that you put in a cup or a glass of water and it grows really big. My kids love these types of things. So we have two of that because I have the extra sibling. And then we have two 
of the crafts. And this one looks like a sand art where you probably peel off the stickers and put on the sand. So that looks like a lot of fun. And we have a little card that shows you all the things in the box and a delicious snack. So this is for butterfly fruit pizza. This would be a lot of fun to try. So this is a cookie pizza. And next we have a postcard with the butterfly on it, the monarch butterfly. And then we have all kinds of fun facts. And my middle daughter loves this part. She loves anything anatomy. So it always comes with an anatomy chart. So this one shows all the different parts of the butterfly. And then every box comes with a book. So we have Great Migrations Butterflies, National Geographic Kids. Let me show you a little bit inside this book here. Shows about migration. Caterpillars to chrysalis. This looks like this will be a lot of fun and very educational. And then the box always comes with stickers and we get two because I have that extra sibling. And next up, we have Knowledge Crate. There are two boxes available, the preschool box that is for ages three through five, and the school age box that is for kids ages six through 10, and that is the one that is shown in today's video. These are boxes packed full of 18 to 24 activities, ranging from art, literacy, science, and math. The box also includes all the materials you'll need. In the box, you will find three children's books, an activity guide, the crafts, and the activities. Their boxes are seasonally themed, and this one is the winter box. And here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Knowledge Crate. Okay, let's open up the box and see what's inside. So we have a nice little thank you note here and a beautiful snowflake and the lid where it says investment and in knowledge pays the best interest and that was by Ben Franklin and on top here we have our activity guide like I said earlier this one is for winter and I'll save this for after just in case it has some spoilers inside and then we have our book and this is the Cool Bean. I've heard of this book before, but we do not have it yet. Look at that. They have all the different kinds of beans. They have a kidney bean. I think this is a lima bean. Very cute. And here's a few pages in here. I have a feeling my kids are going to really like this one. Then we have all the things for our activities. We have a craft here to make a 3D snowman. And look, it has a cute little knitted scarf inside. We have some Crayola Super Tip markers in bold. We have a booklet that has some winter yoga. Let me show you a few pages inside here. And then, oh, we have another book. Oh, and this one is a chapter book. This is awesome. This is called Restart. Lose your memory, find your life. And these are what the pages look like inside. And then we have another book. And this one is The New Year's Eve Sleepover from the Black Lagoon. I love how I have a book in here for my six-year-old. 
One for my 13 year old and one for my nine year old. This is perfect. And here are some of the pages inside this one. We have a sensory snow winter wonderland kit here. Some bonus materials. Looks like we have some stickers and googly eyes. And next we have Play-Doh accessories. All my kids are going to absolutely love this. They love doing Play-Doh sensory bins. And then we have some plastic cups here, which I'm guessing are for an activity. We have this box that is Constellations. Let me open this up and see what's inside. So it has some cards here. A notebook and all kinds of more stuff in here but let's check these out so here is the notebook these are constellation cards which are awesome I always wanted to teach my girls about constellations and here we go and then we have some cards here and these are all about different states so we have Illinois Indiana, Iowa, all kinds of more states here. This is perfect because we are doing um, a state study in our geography this year. So these are perfect and we have not gotten to these states yet. So these will be some fun flashcards to use during our school. Okay, let's look at the rest of the things in here. We have winter constellations, which I'm guessing you make constellations with the marshmallows and the toothpicks. This is polar bear science. Excited to see what that's about. Oh, a cute little pencil here. When I was little, I absolutely loved these pencils where you take from the front and you push them behind and has all these different pencils inside. I think I'm going to keep this one for myself, <laughs> but I have a feeling my kids will be fighting over it. We have a salt ice experiment. This looks like a lot of fun. And we have a wooden snowflake. This box keeps going and going, everybody. I can't believe how many things are actually in here. So these are separate materials. Looks like we have some shaving cream. Had to think for a second what that was called. We have a dice, some water cubes, Epsom salts, snowflake art, glue, brushes, paint. This is awesome, guys. Look at, we have some more paints here. Purple, white, and blue. Three different Play-Doh colors. Blue, purple, and white. A snowflake wreath. A canvas. And then we have something rolled up here. Some white and brown paper. It keeps going and going. I cannot believe how many things are in this box. And we have some worksheet papers and these are all laminated so they could be used over and over again so this is for I spy a story map math practice a word search I'm running out of room to put things constellation paper some more printables so this is the United States, a calendar, this keeps going, wow. So this seems to be the last thing here. This is a 2022 calendar created by, so this is blank on top. So I'm guessing that in this activity, you make your own pictures and create your own calendar. Let me put these things back in and then we'll take a look at the book that we had on the top of the box. And there's so many things in here that I don't think I could even fit it all back in again. This is absolutely crazy how many things are in here. Okay, so here is the activity guide. So we have 
all the different activities that we're going to do. So this is about the journaling, water cubes, math practice, the calendar, different finger plays. So these are great rhymes to do if uh, you had do circle time in your homeschool. All about polar bear habitat, polar bear science. Read with me the 3D snowmen. How cute. Different experiments, the wreath, the state um, study. And I'm very excited because we are going to be starting these states very soon in our homeschool. Some salt art here. Constellations, I Spy, Sensory Snow. It just keeps going on and on. And the Spring Crate is coming March 1st, which has already passed. So if you want to get a Spring Crate, make sure you go on to the website linked below and order that one ASAP. I am absolutely astonished of what this box includes. I am blown away. So now let's go with my kids and let's do some of these fun activities together. Next up, we have KiwiCo's Tinker Crate. KiwiCo has many different box options for all different ages. This box has fun STEM projects designed to develop creativity and curiosity. In the box, you'll find the materials to create the project, step-by-step -step instructions, additional science experiments and activities, and optional online tutorials and tips. In this box, you'll make a bubble lamp and pass boxes themes where I wouldn't automation, a coin-eating robot, and a drift motorcycle. And here are the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for KiwiCo. Okay, let's open up this Tinker Crate and see what's inside. So we can see here from this side cover is this is gonna be a make your own bubble lamp we are gonna build an LED lamp and create a groovy light show with oil and water. How cool is that? You're gonna make your own lava type lamp. Okay, on top we have the instructions where this first page is gonna show all the in included materials, a picture of what it needs to look like when it's finished, and all the step-by-step -step instructions so you'll start here and do all of letter A, go on to letter B, and then on to C, and then on the back, you'll finish up with letter D, and then it has some troubleshooting if things do not work out the way that you planned. And next we have the Tinker Zine magazine that comes every month. And included, it has all these things inside. Gives you a little bit of an insight to what you are doing with your crate. Gives you a little bit more science behind it. And then we have a fun activity that you can do to find out about density of different liquids. We have a salad dressing recipe, a mayo recipe, now, are you one of those people that like mayonnaise? I'm not. It's one of those things I think you either love it or hate it. 
Let me know down in the comments. We have another fun optional activity. And some more information in the back. We have some battery use instructions. And then we have all the pieces that we need to complete the project. Some thin cardboard pieces that are metallic. Some see-through colored plastic sheets. Cardboard piece. Some thick cardstock. A bag of some vegetable oil. Electronics needed, so we have an LED light and a battery. Some plastic tubing and some foam sheets. The plastic bottle. Some wooden pieces here. A lid for the bottle. And this little squirty plastic bottle. Let me get everything in the box. And while I do that, let me show you what this looks like all completed. This activity was so much fun to do. My girls love getting kiwi crates. They've been getting them for years now. My oldest daughter, who is almost 13, gets the Eureka crate. And let me insert a clip here of the newest thing that she created with her crate. And next up, we have Finder Seekers Junior Explorers. This is for kids ages 5 through 10 plus. And you explore the world while solving mysteries, discovering natural wonders, and making works of art. Includes a full itinerary outlining four days of activities. The activities explore science, technology, engineering, art, and different world locations. This box's theme is Timbuktu, and past themes have included Iceland, Hawaii, Paris, and Beijing. Here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Finder Seekers Junior Explorers. Okay, we have the Finder Seekers Junior Explorers box here. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Okay, so inside there is an envelope here. Now let's open up this envelope. So here we go. We have some glue, a marker, some balloons, a rock, and not sure what this is. It looks like some kind of light, some paint, and a paintbrush and then it looks like uh, one of those tablets that you um, color your Easter eggs with right <laughs> excited to see what that is for and then we have some punch out pieces for a pipe game and a nose piece for a mask a large piece of paper and the instructions booklet so inside the book, it gives all the directions how to do the mission. So here is our mission here, and it's all about Africa. So here are all the different activities that we have to do. So we have some interesting facts about Timbuktu, an activity all about face proportions. So we have some drawing. And then we have a special activity to make a mask with those balloons. And now we're on to day two, where we're learning about colors, a little puzzle to figure out, and mixing colors with paint. So we're gonna learn all kinds of things. Day two continued, emotions from colors and patterns. Now we're gonna decorate our mask. And then next, on day three, we're going to learn all about the Sahara Desert, a scavenger hunt, all kinds of different activities through the days. I love how it's an activity that lasts more than just one day. So this looks like the activity that goes along with these pieces here. The Solve the mystery on the last page. And this last page is sealed, which I'm guessing has the answer. So we're going to keep that one closed just in case you want to get this box and I won't give you any spoilers. So let's put everything back into the box. 
Now let's go and do some of these activities with my kids. And next up, we have Ivy Kids Kits. This is recommended for kids ages 3 through 8. This is a box full of fun, creative, and unique hands-on activities that promote the development of math, science, literacy, engineering, and art skills through play and, and exploration. Each kit contains a highly rated children's book and 12 STEM activities inspired by the story. It also contains a personalized item this box's theme is llamas, and past themes have included giraffes, bunnies, earth, rainbow, rooster, and narwhals. And now, here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Ivy Kids kits. Okay, let's open this box up. So here we have on top this cute picture of a llama, and it is personalized for my daughter, Holly. How cute is that? And then on top here, it shows all the things included in the box. So I'm not gonna show that yet so you guys can be surprised. Let's open this up. So we have this paper here on top that has some questions to go along with this book right here is your mama a llama super cute this is illustrated by stephen kellogg i actually met him in my elementary school i think probably when i was around second or third grade and i actually have a book that he signed of mine so i love stephen kellogg books Let's see a few pages inside here Super excited to read that one to my daughter. And then inside here are all the activities to go along with the book. First here, I have a feeling that my daughter is gonna be very excited about this. We have a plush of a llama. It is so soft. Look how cute he is. And next we have some crafts. This looks like a wind chime that you paint. And here, this looks like some kind of growing kit. And next we have this thick wooden block that is the shape of a llama that I'm guessing you use these paints here to paint it. How fun. And then we have a little cup here that has some yellow embroidery floss and some little pieces here that look like they're for a game. We have a dice, and we have a little llama, and a kangaroo, and a bat. We have some pom-poms, some pink embroidery floss, a circle that I'm guessing, oh, it's for a wreath. I'll show you that in a minute. We have a photo frame to make, and then we have a booklet here. Let's get this open. It looks like there's a game inside as well. So on top here, we have a little wooden llama. So cute. Some glue dots. And right here, it looks like we have a board game to play. Oh, and this is where the llama, kangaroo, and bat pieces come into play here. These look like some trivia questions that go along with another game. And here we have another board game to play. My daughter is going to love this. She loves playing games like this. And then next we have a picture of a llama with all the different body parts, like eyes and ears and body and wool, so we can learn all about the llamas. I always love when you can kind of sneak in an educational thing with games and crafts. Looks like we have another game here. Oh, these all go together. So these have the numbers listed, the numbers listed in word form. Oh, and then different ways to count numbers. 
like tallies and numbers on a dice. We have some addition and subtraction problems. Some other mats here that I'm guessing are for another game. We'll see that in the booklet in a little bit. Oh, I love this. So this kind of goes along with the lesson that had the llama and all the different body parts. So after you read that, you'll go through and find all the body parts and glue them where they belong. Oh, how fun! We can cut and make our own llamas here. Okay, and here we have all the different games you can play. So this one uses the llama plush called Where Is Your Llama? Here is the, the wooden llama to paint. The wind chime. Oh, a llama planter. Okay, so this is where the seeds come into play. How cute is that? And that's the cup. A llama wreath. Oh, so this is where the embroidery floss comes in. And the cutouts here. So much fun. The all about llamas with the activity. Roll and cover llamas. So this is that game. Here's all the directions on how to play the board game. Okay, so these trivia questions go along with the board game. Oh, a picture with your mama, how cute. So we'll have to take a picture together to put into the frame. A rhyme time game. My daughter is so into rhyming right now. She's going to love this. Llama Llama, who has more? Okay, so this is a math game with those four pieces and you use the pom-poms and the dice. I love how there's different materials that are the same that go to different activities. Some math practice, more math practice. Yeah, and these are all math practices. So let me get everything back into the box. Okay, now let me show you the lid here now where you could see all the different projects and how to do them. I love how it's just right here. It's so easy. It's like a full curriculum in a box for your child. I absolutely love this box. And Ivy Kids did send me another box, so make sure you stay tuned. And I'm gonna do a video with just this box in it. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified for when this video comes up. Next up, we have Radish Kids. This box is for kids and adults of all ages. It is a cooking club, culinary lesson, and mealtime solution all in one. It makes cooking and sharing a meal fun for the whole family. In the box, you will find three recipe guides, a quality kitchen tool, colorful apron patch, four table talk cards, creative kitchen project, three culinary skill lessons, and a complete grocery list. This is their 100th celebration kit, and past boxes have had culinary themes of Chinese, garden party, Italian, sushi, and French. And here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Radish Kids. Let's open this box and see what is inside. So on top here, we have a pizza cutter, which is always handy. You can never cut pizza without a pizza cutter. That is awesome. And then we have our Let's Party Celebration. Open it up. So it looks like, looks like every box comes with a patch. That is awesome, so you can collect your patches. So in this box, it teaches culinary skills. Here are the three different recipes that are in the box. We have Caesar salad dip, stuffed crust pizza, and confetti cake, which I think I'm probably most excited about that one. And then how you could host a party with the things in this box, and a 
shopping list on the back. And then we have the recipe cards. We have the Caesar salad dip here. What you need with all the pictures, it makes it simple for children. So even if they can't read yet, they could see the pictures and find the items in your kitchen. It teaches you all about who Caesar was from Julius Caesar and Caesar Cardini, who is the person that invented the Caesar salad. All the steps that you need to complete the recipe. And again, I love the big pictures. So if you have children that are not readers yet, or confident readers, they have all the pictures. And it's good for moms too, because sometimes you read a recipe and you have no clue what they're talking about. And then on the back, we have all the kitchen safety with knives and what the different knives are how not to walk away from a knife on a cutting board, and to use your spider fingers when cutting. And you could also scan the QR code to get di dietary modifications, more recipes, music to listen to while you're cooking or baking, or baking, and lesson plans. All kinds of tools on how to host a party with party prep and hosting tips some fun food party games, and some table talk cards that you can punch out and play during your party. Now this box is part of their 100th cooking kit celebration. And I had a video that went out already that showed this box and it shows us cooking one of the things in here. I love how this box makes cooking so easy and fun for your children, makes it not intimidating. And if you're interested in seeing that, please see the video up here. And here is how it turned out. And next up, we have Universal Yums. This box is for people of all ages. Universal Yums sends you a box of snacks and candies from a different country each month. The products sent are often extremely difficult or impossible to find in the US. In the box, you will find a variety of sweets and savory snacks with unique flavors and spices from the country of the month. You will find a 12-page booklet with games, fun facts, recipes, and nutritional facts. They have three different sizes. The Yum Box is five to seven snacks. The Yum Yum Box, 10 to 12 snacks, and that's the one shown in today's video. And the Super Yum Box that has 18 to 24 snacks. This box's country is France, but past boxes included Poland, Scandinavia, Indonesia, Taiwan, Greece, and Germany. And here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for Universal Yums. Okay, let's open up this box. Sorry about the top here. I ripped off the label so you guys wouldn't all know where I live. We absolutely love Universal Yums. This is our second month getting this box. I think this company is great for those that are learning all about geography. It's a great way to learn about other countries and their culture and it's so much fun tasting all the snacks inside. This month we have France, which I'm so excited for because, well, as we all know, the French have good food. <laughs> so inside we have a little sticker 
And then we have the booklet, which I'll save for later, so we don't have any spoilers. If you'd like to see my daughters and I trying our last box, you can go and hit this card over here to that video. So on the top, it looks like we have some potato chips that are aioli flavored. From what I remember, I think aioli is a mayonnaise-based dip that or sauce. And looks like it has garlic in it. Don't know exactly because I don't speak French. And then it looks like we have another potato chip here. Same brand, the Brett's. And these are onion and balsamic vinegar flavored. So yummy. And then we have some cheesy corn snacks. Look at the cute little mouse on top. I have a feeling that my girls are going to love these. And then we have some apricot and vanilla cookies. These look very good. Okay, and next we have a chocolate bar. Mm-mm-mm, sea salt, dark chocolate. This looks so good. I know France is known for their chocolate. Excited to try that. And then we have some biscuits which are butter cookies. And I love here that the ingredients are wheat flour, butter, sugar, egg, salt, and vanilla flavor. You don't really see things like that packaged here in the US without some kind of preservative or words that you can't read. So that is very awesome. Oh, I think this is gonna be my favorite. We have some chocolate truffles here. And I have a feeling that this will probably be my kids' favorite. We have strawberry bonbon chewy candies. Those look so good. And then we have some candies here. Looks like some more chewy candies. And then we have some caramels, which I'm super excited about. These look so good. Okay, let me put everything back in the box and we're gonna look through the booklet. I always have such a hard time putting everything back the way it came. I can never get it in just right. Okay, so in every booklet, they have all kinds of fun facts about the country of the month. They have recipes, trivia, and then they have all the different things in the box. It explains what everything is and what's inside, who makes it. I guess these ones here are all French specialties, which I'm super excited for. All the nutrition facts. And then we have some fun games all about France and some more recipes. We love getting this box from Universal Yums. My kids look forward to it every month now. It's so exciting to try all the different foods from all the different countries. And next up, we have my pre-K box. This is for children ages three to five, is a mom and educator developed box that targets essential pre-kindergarten skills and fosters these early learning skills through play. In the box, you will find reusable activities, dynamics, math and STEM activities, literacy games, sensory play activities, and a themed craft. This box's theme is zoo and past themes have been pirates, farm, Dino, Gingerbread, and Valentine. And here is the shipping info, prices, and available discounts for my pre-K box. Okay, let's open up the box and see what is inside. So we can see here that it is the zoo box. And on top here, it shows that they have a giveaway where you could win a free box. And here we go. We have 
a little pamphlet here, which I'll wait to the end just in case it has a spoiler. This dish show is all about the craft lovers upgrade. And if you got that, these are the extra crafts you would have received in your box. And then on top we have the play mat for a zoo race game, all with the letters of the alphabet that are in lowercase with such adorable and cute pictures. And then we have a placemat for a game called Red Panda Rhymes. My youngest daughter, she has been all into rhyming lately, so she is going to love this. And then we have the mat for a game called Hungry Hippo. I bet all of you remember playing that Hungry Hungry Hippo game growing up. And then we have a package here with popsicle sticks and some cards inside. Let's see what's in here. So we have cage patterns, where I'm guessing that you put the popsicle sticks there on the end. Elephants, bear, kangaroo, a tiger, rhino, and zebra, and a bison. So with the sticks, you will do the pattern orange, green, red, orange, green, red, orange, and then they'll put the green stick. And next here, it looks like we have the fun craft, and this one is a foam craft. Then we have some of these sticks. What are they called? They're these wax bendable sticks. And maybe it'll say in the book, because I don't remember what they're called. These are a lot of fun to use. And then we have Hungry Hippo, and this looks like a math game. We have some adding. Let me open this one up. So we have all these little flash cards with the addition on them. And next we have Syllable Snack. Let me open this up. And we have some cards with all the different animals on them. And in my daughter's kindergarten, we are doing syllables right now. So this is absolutely perfect. Oh, we have a sloth. We're actually going to be going to an indoor zoo and we're gonna have an experience with the sloth coming up very soon. And then we have a second set of the crafts. And I know she put this in here because she knew that I had a second daughter that would be interested in doing that. And then we have some game pieces with a cute little giraffe and a lion, a dice, and some um, bingo chips. And then we have, oh, this is pretty cool. It looks like some kind of sensory slime. And it looks like there might be something inside. Maybe we'll open this up later and see. So let me put everything back in the box and then we'll check the booklet that came with the box. So here is the pamphlet and this gives you all the different directions on how to play all the different games. Oh, no. And those are called wiki sticks. I would not have remembered that. We have the Hungry Hippo game. Zoo race. Oh, there's a lion in the putty. Very cute. The cage patterns and the red panda rhymes. I think this box is absolutely perfect. I'm always looking for things for my kindergartner to do when her older sisters are doing their work. And she has finished her school already. This box is going to be a great addition to our homeschool classroom. And I highly suggest this box for any kids that are doing pre-kindergarten skills. And we're going to do a few examples of some of the games and activities in the box. And last up, we have Little Readers Book Club. This is recommended for kids ages five through seven. 
This is a themed box that helps develop reading comprehension, expands vocabulary, and explores new concepts. Each box comes with three to four books, themed crafts, and an activity booklet. This box's theme is the Big Bad Box, and past themes have included the Lovey Box, Snowy Fun, and Holly Jolly Book Box, and you can find all those reviews of those boxes on my channel. And here is all the shipping info, prices, and upgrades for this box. Okay, let's open up our Little Readers Book Club box. Now, I have been getting this box for a few months now. I absolutely love it. If you're interested in seeing some of the unboxes I did in the past, you can find them all on my YouTube page. And here is the booklet that comes with the box. We will save this for later because it has spoilers inside. And this is the theme, the Big Bad Box. And there's the Big Bad Wolf right there. So let's open it up. And we have the first fun craft on top here. We got some straw and some popsicle sticks. It looks like some bricks here in the back. We have some of this crinkled paper here and then we have an egg a plastic egg and some pipe cleaners and then a little band-aid I wonder what that is for and some googly eyes and then we have the books we have the true story of the three little pigs now we do not have this book but I remember this book from when I was little I remember reading this in the library and I remember it being so funny and here are a few pages of this book inside and the next book we have oh this is what the eggs for we have what really happened to Humpty this one looks hilarious from the files of a hard-boiled detective Let's see in this one here. We absolutely love adding to our picture book collection. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with children's books. And the next one we have is Spring is Here. I'm very excited to get a spring themed book because I was looking through all my books and I do not have many spring themed books. So here are a few pictures from this book here. Very cute. And we have another book. This one is The Three Little Pugs and the Big Bad Cat. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at how cute these dogs are. My kids love animals. I love dogs and cats. I have a feeling that this one is going to be a gigantic hit. How adorable is this book? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. I have a feeling this is going to be one of our new favorite books. And then there is a folder in the back with some of the activities. I'm guessing this is for the Big Bad Wolf craft. We have this one here. And a wanted poster. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Now let's put these back and then we are going to look in the activity book to see what all these crafts are. Okay, so here is the activity guide. And here are the fun crafts. So these are the three houses of the three little pigs. This is adorable. And then we have Humpty Dumpty. And we have the wanted poster and the big bad wolf puppet. That will be a lot of fun to use when reading the story. And then it comes with a bunch of different activity pages in the back. This 
sequencing. And then finish the pattern worksheet. So that is this box here. And here are some examples of the crafts that we made with the box. to share all these amazing boxes with you today. Did I mention one of your favorites or are there any here that you're interested in trying? Let me know down in the comments and if I didn't mention one that you love and enjoy, let me know down below. I'll be so excited to maybe do a part two of this video or just do an individual video in the future for the boxes that you love or want to see. Again, remember I will have all those discount codes and special links so you guys can get the best prices on these boxes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, and please hit that bell to be notified for future uploads. And I would love to connect with you on Instagram or Facebook. Those links will also be down in the description box. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye everyone. Thank you.